13 days of Friday, let's do it. So, yeah, uh, today is the 1st of November, and, well, the 1st of 13 days of Friday, because there's a Friday the 13th in this month, um, so for the next 13 days I'll be doing, um, you know, vlog reviews all the way up to Friday the 13th to my Friday the 13th special part 3. So, I've just finished watching Friday the 13th. I've seen all the films before, and I've reviewed them all in one massive go, so I thought I'd just review them one day at a time. So, uh, so today is, yeah, Friday the 13th. Um, so, this film, um, it was written by Victor Miller, directed by Sean S. Cunningham, I think it was. Um... It starred, um, you know, it had a young Kevin Bacon in, and also, not to forget, the late Betsy Palmer uh, as uh, Jason's mother, Pamela Voorhees. So, uh, what it is, is that if, you, if you're a huge fan of the series, you know by now that um, Jason, um, you know, 19, the film opens where it's 1958 and two camp counsellors getting up to the naughty get murdered by someone unknown and also we find out a year before that uh, a boy drowned called Jason of course everyone will know that anyway we then go to Friday after the whole intro we go to Friday the 13th the present day uh, 1980 um, so what we do is um, Friday the 13th uh, the, um, so yeah, it's, uh, first we see a girl called Annie who, have, who never actually makes it to the camp. Um, you know, there's a town of people, nice locals, but then there's that weirdo Ralph who says, It's got a death curse. You're all doomed. So um, then next thing uh, we go to is um, you know, f um, the other camp counsellors coming in uh, getting all settled in and set up, uh, you know, because they plan to reopen the camp within two weeks. Uh, forgetting all the stuff that happened at the lake, uh, the murders and the, the 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 stuff that has gone off on um, at Crystal Lake. So um, what happens next is everyone, all the camp teens and stuff, start getting picked off one by one. By an unknown killer. Uh, Kevin Bacon's character Jack gets an arrow through the neck. One has, I think, an off-screen death. Then there's a girl who gets hacked with uh, an axe. And then another one strangled and stuff. It's just like, you know, a typical, it's like a revenge thriller. We then find out that the unknown killer is, of course, Mrs. Pamela Voorhees, the mother of Jason Voorhees. And she tells him that in 1957 he drowned. He was 12 years old. Or 11. Uh, yeah, I think he was about 11 years old. Uh, drowning. Now, the kid, now Jason, he didn't deserve to die. He didn't deserve to drown. But in a way, you know, Jason has sort of had the last laugh on the series. So, um, Pamela Voorhees, uh, you know, ends up fighting the last girl, Alice, who is the survivor well she's the virgin so she survives um it just has like this last 20 minutes of where she's scrapping with uh, Pamela Voorhees and fighting her and stuff and well uh, in the end if you've seen it we know spoiler um you know, Alice, Alice overpowers uh Mrs Voorhees and beheads her with the machete uh, now People say Jason saw his mother get killed, so did Jason really drown in 1957? Or did Jason's mother, Pamela, have just want that as a motive and a reason to kill? Did she fake Jason's death to teach people a lesson? Either way, she didn't want the camp opening again in case it should happen to anyone else. So then uh, Alice wakes up in the canoe the next morning, seeing the policeman, the cavalry's here... Then all of a sudden, bam, Jason, you know, all moulded and rotted up, jumps out of the lake, drags her under, drags Alice under the water, but then she wakes up, turning it out to be a dream. Uh, they 
the coppers tell her that she's the last survivor and stuff. Um, she then says, is the boy still there? And they didn't find any boy. And it turns out he's still out there. So, yeah. Um, that obviously continues into the sequel where Jason takes lead of the series and makes his big murder debut. Um, so, yeah. Friday the 13th, uh, the original 1980. I am going to give this one... A four out of five. I'm just going to rank you up from like a four out of five, you know, because um, it's just small and simple and quick to do. So, yeah, a four out of five for Friday the 13th, 1980. So, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to share it, please feel free to share. If you want to, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, um, you know, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you after this one. Um, also, I'm on social media, so there'll be links in the description to my Facebook page, so please like me on that. Follow me on Twitter as well to stay updated on what I get up to outside of the YouTube uh, world. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with um, day two, which will be Friday the 13th. Part 2. So, till then, till next time, goodbye friends.